good evening. After almost a decade of planning and construction and half a billion pounds of public money, Sussex's newest hospital building is preparing to welcome its first patients. The state-of-the-art facilities will house a new outpatients department, critical care and stroke centre at the Royal Sussex County Hospital in Brighton, with wards and departments moving out of a Victorian building due to be demolished next year. Well, it's the first stage in the biggest NHS building project in our region for a generation. And our reporter Kit Bradshaw has been given a tour ahead of the opening later this week. Kit, what will it mean for patients? Well, Sangeeta, for around 100,000 patients a year, it will mean this brand new building for their treatment. Pretty unrecognisable for that 19th century building you mentioned, which opened 20 years before Florence Nightingale started nursing. And when you're stood up here on this public balcony for patients and staff, it's easy to forget that you're not in a hotel or a penthouse apartment, but the public space of a new NHS hospital. And after many years of planning, this was given the green light back in 2014, the public will finally be able to start using this facility in just two days' time. Rebuilding one of the southeast's busiest hospitals while keeping it open to the public was always going to be a major undertaking. And after nine years of cranes and rubble, the gleaming 11-storey Louisa Martindale building is finally ready to receive its first patients. This is one of the large four-bed at base. Obviously, the first thing you notice is the amount of space we have. Staff are busy familiarising themselves with the light and airy surroundings. It's going to make a massive difference, particularly to neuro patients that can be quite disorientated anyway, so then not having any natural light can be really hard for patients' recovery, so having all of this natural light is going to be huge. Almost all of the new four bay wards and private rooms have windows with sea views. Along the corridor, this operating theatre has the latest interventional radiology equipment. In this uh, unit, we will be doing regional work for cancer patients, vascular patients and trauma patients. We deal with kind of bleeding, we deal with cancer management, so it's a cutting edge of, of technology. A million people a year are expected to pass through the hospital's new main entrance with outpatient services, neuroscience and the critical care unit among the departments based here. It's hugely important because it gives us a really modern purpose-built facility for our patients and for our staff to work in. We'll be moving uh, all the wards from the Barry building next door, so we'll move from the oldest building in the NHS to, to the newest building. Seen here in 1933, it'll be pulled down next year. For now, staff are busy making final preparations for the phased opening of the new facilities. It's much bigger here, it's much brighter, it's much airier. It's, got, it's a much more pleasant environment, I think, for staff, for patients, um, for us to work in. I mean, it, it's, it's great. And this new building is just the first stage in a larger project to totally redesign the Royal Sussex and ensure it's fit for the future. And Kit, with all the pressures on the NHS at the moment, new facilities are needed more now than ever. That's true. We've heard so much in recent months about the staffing pressures and also from inspectors about their concerns, not just at hospitals like this, but across our region because of the demand from the public. And the hope is that this is, won't just be new bricks and mortar, but will improve patient care. Someone who can tell us all about that is Peter Larson Disney, the clinical director for this building project. And when this finally opens to the public fully in a few weeks time, what difference will it mean for the public of Sussex? Oh, it's going to be a tremendous difference for them, Kit. I mean, we're offering them wonderful care now, but we're doing it under the most difficult circumstances. And, and when you get a building like this, which is absolute state of the art, wonderful areas for them to relax, brilliant uh, mixture of views and colour and space that all the evidence is will help them convalesce. This is what our patients need. And I think from the staffing viewpoint, it offers us the opportunity to give them better care because we can get into the patients, we can surround them with what they need to give them the environment they need to recover. And obviously in urgent situations we've got the room to manoeuvre and make sure everything's okay for these patients. It, the difference will be vast. And this isn't the end of the redevelopment project here at the Royal Sussex, is it? Because there are plans for more development in the months and years to come. We're very ambitious as an organisation and, you know, we are a a major trauma centre, we're a major cancer centre 
And this is the beginning. This is where we transform ourselves into what looks like a major teaching hospital for the south of, the, of England. The next step is a cancer centre, and we couldn't be more excited about that. The, the old estate is fairly grim. Uh, it's not quite as old as the old Barry building, which we're replacing with this building, but it's grim. And we've suddenly been in a situation where we can offer fantastic care for all of our cancer patients across Sussex. Thank you very much for joining us. And the first outpatients will come in for their appointments from Thursday with other departments moving into this new building over the coming weeks. And we hope to return in around a month's time to see what the patients make of it all. Cheers. Thank you.